after the long wait, the Thousand Year Blood War arc has finally come, and we had just got the first episode. So here's going to be my little review of it. The episode starts off in the research factory with Viuri, the captain of research, um, do, searching out a bunch of the hollows, showing us that there's something big going on. Hollows being killed everywhere, the whole bunch of different hollows appearing in a whole bunch of different places across, across like in the all the Kura town. It reintroduces us to what it's like to be a Soul Reaper for the first time after having seen the Soul Reaper on screen for years. And it does it so well. It really draws you back into it. It makes you feel it's like you're returning to a one of your favorite. You're returning to one of your favorite series for I've not seen it for so long. But because of new animation, part of it feels new, you know. So I feel like I'm going into watching a brand new show, despite having seen it and read the manga. The start of it where they build up from the uh, reintroduction of the Soul Reaper up to the reintroduction of our main characters being Shad, Uryu, Orihime, and especially the build of Ichigo was so clean. It was it was done so well, especially like they all have their all had their time of their powers to show. And I like how from the change to the manga, um what's his name? The change from the manga, the story from the beginning, I forgot their names. They uh woke up with just a quick little memory of um, them showing up saving him. But in the anime, it starts off with them actually showing it and introducing the characters, having Orihime save him, having Uryu fire his, have fire his arrows, Chad coming in, and of course Ichigo has some badass entrance to showing up, being like, who are you? Ichigo Kurosaki. It was done so well. It, it really gets you hyped for the series. Seeing our boy Ichigo back on screen for the first time in years, it brings back so many memories and it gets me so excited for the future of Bleach. It gets me so excited for the future of this arc. And it gets, it does a really good job building up that hype to let you know this shit's going to be awesome. You can, I cannot wait to see Ichigo more in the Lazio Blood War arc. And it does a great job of setting that tone. It did a really great job in reintroducing us to the world of Bleach. And everything is really elevated through the beautiful animation. We knew from the trailer that the animation was amazing, but seeing it for the first time in law and form episode, it's just beautiful. Everything from Uryu's arrows to Orihime's shield to Chad's punch to Ichigo's Etsuga Tensho. It's so beautifully animated. It is done so incredibly well. It makes it feel like you're watching a whole new show while also simultaneously coming back to one of your most favorite anime of all time. At least one of my favorite anime of all time, like reintroducing us to an old anime, but also feels like it's new. There's so much action in this episode too, especially with the explosive battle of Ichigo and all of his friends fighting all the hollow. Like I said, all of them like, just destroying the hollows in their in their own unique way. It was it was so sick. Makes you really excited to see the future of the fights in Bleach that is gonna be yet to come and how well they're gonna be animated, how sick that they're going to look when they finally get animated. So excuse the door. I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. It was like this when I got when I moved in this house. We have yet to paint it. So I don't know what the hell this uh this is. <laughs> what the fuck is this design? Be really worried about the pacing because a lot of times when these new arcs or these uh new anime, they like to cram in these too many chapters or too many pages into one episode. So I was really worried going into, but I think they nailed it. I think they nailed it. But there's so much stuff in this arc they need to get right. Character development, introducing new characters, power-ups, different so different explanations. There's so many things in this arc that explain that connect the whole series together. And this arc has with the anime, because we all know Lord Kubo himself was rushed during the manga, so this anime gives him that chance to actually finally make all those flaws that the Thousand Year Blood War had when it was rushed come together and be fixed and be better so i'm really excited to see where they go with that and patch up all those flaws that would um in the manga i don't want to spoil for anyone who's not a manga reader but it might be better in the anime than it is the manga and that is what i'm most excited for to see how they're going to fix those flaws and make it into a entirely new an entirely new like form of uh form of bleach and to make it 
even better than it was in the manga because it doesn't have that rush limit. Nailed the pace in this episode. Everything from the start, like the, the introduction of the characters didn't take too long. It felt like it was pretty quick. They reintroduced us to the characters, gives everything we need to know. It's like, welcome us back to Bleach. Like, hell yeah, here's our boy Ichigo. He's back in action, introduces us to the one of the new folk. And I might be mispronouncing that wrong, but... Um, the Aronkar Quincy, that is the new foe that cha that challenges Ichigo and shows us what he's a what he's capable of, the powers, and that. And then when the Runderich shows up and declares war on the Soul Society, of course, at the end of the episode, perfect place to end it with a huge introduction of Yuha. Perfect pacing for the episode, I think. Put, put to, enough into where you get hyped up for what's going to come next. You get enough what you need for this episode, the introduction of the characters, the introduction of what's going to happen, the story. You get well, you get the declaration of war, you get what their powers are. It's everything moves so fast, but it wasn't rushed in any way. It gave us enough time to fully grasp what was actually happening. They didn't try to rush the Bankai stealing ability. They had it at the end of the episode, had it perfectly end at the ep episode. So it doesn't give it away while well, Ichigo's fighting Urban, but as you watch more, you watch more, you understand. They got everything they need to get right in the first episode without putting too much in and without it being boring. Now let's talk about the fight with Ichigo and Urban though, because that fight was sick. The animation on every one of their attacks, beautiful. Ichigo comes face to face with a new opponent who is supposed to be representative of... Representative? Who was supposed to represent the new uh the new foes who could be coming soon to give us hype for what's about to happen and it, with the introduction of you know you ha bok at the end of uh the episode it goes it shows us something big's gonna happen um introducing us to the power of him stealing his bankai having it should go be like you know oh shit what the fuck um even though it doesn't you know it seemed like it didn't actually work on him the fight itself was only about 50 seconds. They didn't rush it. They didn't make it too fucking... They didn't stretch it out and make it long. It was perfect. It was everything we need to know. There's a big foe coming that has power to steal Bankai. And Ichigo's gonna have to be prepared. And the Soul Side's gotta be prepared to take him down. While still being a explosive, action-packed, awesome, beautifully animated, visually pleasing battle battle that gives you that dark gray tone about what's going to happen in the future of the soul society and makes you feel like oh shit shit's about to go down yeah and it definitely gives you the sense that this is going to be the hardest opponent for the soul society ever to take and every scene is just every scene is just beautifully animated um Every scene is just beautifully animated. That's one of the great things about anime that the manga doesn't have. Every scene, especially especially at the end with that last part of the... Uh, not going to give it away. I'm, I'm not make, trying to make a spoiler free, but... When a, when the reveal of the Bankai stealing ability is revealed. That scene. Beautifully animated as he's... You know. So... So all in all, I think it was a fucking fantastic episode. They did a great job, and I cannot wait to see the future of it. So let me know what you guys think of the episode, if you have seen it, um, and let me know what you guys think after you go after. Your... Let me know what you guys think about the video. The cam it's weird as hell looking at the, uh, the camera's over here, but if I look there, it's weird. I'm staring into your soul. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about the video the video <laughs> let me know what you guys think about the episode and let me know your favorite bleach characters i'd be curious and let me know if you guys love bleach just comment bleach and also i will and also i will definitely be doing these weekly uploads more on these weekly reviews because i love bleach and i'm very excited to see the future of where this arc goes so i'm going to be covering each arc talking about more bleach content especially since my bleach amv from when I made when I was 13 years old on in 2016, March 2016. I made it when I was 13 years old. Five days ago, it had like 2,000 views. It's at 23,000 now. So that is insane to me. So thank you guys. So Bleach is doing well on this channel apparently. And I know, you know, because it's coming out. So I definitely want to keep doing Bleach content because I love Bleach content. You guys like it. So I'm going to keep on putting these out for you. Putting these videos out for you. 
So, and I'm going to keep working hard on them, keep improving my craft in the review. So I hope that you guys like it and I will see you all next time. Also, I just want to quickly say thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I know that may not seem like a lot to some people, but to me, that isn't crazy. Especially since like five days ago, I was at 68. So I've just been like growing. I've just been gaining so many lately. So thank you guys so much. I'll definitely have a 100 subscriber special soon because to me, it's a lot of people. You know, it's the first milestone in this YouTube journey. That and I'm hoping I can continue growing, hoping I can build a community of people that actually like me for me and like my content. And as long as you guys keep liking, I'll keep it coming. So thank you.